bar and sell would be great. Should I do that? Mm-hmm. Does everybody know Selena Owen Barnes? Or is I don't that think a regional thing. I think it's a really. I think it's a regional thing that's grown out of control. Um, hello there, and it's one of the things that we are going to discuss on this episode. Selena yeah. and Barnes. Let the us play. You, let us know if you know who Selena and Barnes Barnes are. Like it. Yeah, because if I mean, I'm sure people in Australia and the UK they don't know who Selena and Barnes is. Let me tell you something. If Ossiani asked me for a lawyer, I would point her to whichever the one who still alive is. I don't know. That's Barnes. for sure. Uh, Selena and Barnes, the play on this episode, plus TikTok banned. What? But not everywhere. That's the tease. Uh. Anheuser Busch statement regarding Dylan Mulvaney that doesn't mention Dylan Mulvaney. Plus, we got Pentagon leaks. Frank's favorite, Nick Cage's favorite movies. Biden lit gate, the King's concert, and our 420 show records on Saturday. You could be on it with us. It's tomorrow, baby. Details and more coming up. We should go over that first, the 420 thing, so people know. You know what I mean? If yeah, let's we, do it. If we say it at the end, people aren't. Some people might not hang in there to the end. We are recording our 420 show tomorrow, Saturday, April 15th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're a member in the members area is a post to not only watch the show, uh, but also to click a link and be on the show. Hell yeah, baby. Click the link and you show up in a box just like we're in a box right now. So you could be on. Do they have the option audio and video? Do they have to be on? They do not. Screen? They okay. can choose to just be vo- a voice uh, yes. or be both. See, there you go. So if you want to be on an episode with us, yeah, we're doing it tomorrow, baby. What was the time? 7? 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when Eastern we record. Standard on Saturday, the on Saturday. February. Yeah. I'm sorry, February. April 15th. April 15th. So come and join us. Uh, we'll be partaking in the activities earlier so that when the show starts, we'll be feeling really good. We're going to talk about life, love. Oh, baby. Religion. We're going to get so deep. It's going to be like insanely deep. And I don't even know how deep, but that's what she said. Deep enough to squirt. I felt I had to say that because Janine wasn't have, here. You didn't have to say that. And she would have said it. So. Oh. I think that's all you. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll never know now, really. But you have to be a member. You have to be a member if you want to be on the show. Yes, only the members got the link. So that's a key moment. You can join. Link in the description below. Uh, You can join for as low as $2.99. In fact, you can join today, and you could quit on Monday if you really want to. (laughs) Yeah, that's a good way to get around stuff. We'd love it if you stayed, but you can technically do that, so... We're not going to break you over the coals for that. No, not at all. Uh, All right, 420 Show should be a lot of fun recording that tomorrow. Thanks to everybody who's already a member. All right, Frankie C. um, So the Anheuser-Busch thing continues. Uh, This is day whatever. I don't even know. And the CEO of Anheuser-Busch released a statement, which if I had to guess, at least I would say 25 to 40 people worked on this statement. Because it is a master class in putting a lot of words on a piece of paper that really doesn't say much. Do we have the statement in front of us? We do have the statement in front of us. It is ever so carefully crafted. I'll Love read it. it to you now. Okay, here we go. This is, Bush. this is from the CEO of Anheuser-Busch. Um, his name, his photo was on the cover of this episode. His name is Chris Whitworth, I think. Okay. Brendan Whitworth. That was close. And who is this? The CEO? Brendan Whitworth is the CEO of Anheuser-Busch. Lord knows how much this man pulls in on a yearly basis, but Anheuser-Busch is about 4,000 beer brands and hard seltzers and God knows what else they're making over there. But anyway, this is what he said. And I quote. As the CEO of a company founded in America's heartland more than 165 years ago, 
I am responsible for insur- ensuring every consumer feels proud of the beer we brew. When was the last time you were proud of a bud? I don't know. I mean, it's a good point. We are honored to be a part of the fabric of this country. Anheuser-Busch employs more than 18,000 people. And our independent distributors employ an additional 47,000 valued colleagues. Very nice. Should we translate as we go? I.E., don't boycott us. We are good for the economy. Pretty good. I'm with you. By the way, we're the fabric of the country. We were started here more than 165 years ago. Anyway, I continue. We have thousands of partners, millions of fans, and a proud history supporting our communities, military, first responders, sports fans, and hardworking Americans everywhere. That's true. You can't, Americans. There's no uh, hyperbole there. I feel like it's all true. Psst. We said Americans again, conservatives. America. Just to let you, just to let you know we're from America. Somebody named Ralph on the third pass of the statement went, I think we should put Americans in here somewhere. We've gone six lines without mentioning America or the fabric of our society. or Ralph, the that we're you've, earned, you've earned another crawler. Give that man a donut, please. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. What is that? A little cocktail for the Friday episode. You warming up for tomorrow? Pre-gaming? Pre-gaming? Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Delicious. God, I don't deserve her love. Um, we never intended to be a part of the discussion that divides people. We are like in it. the business of bringing people together over beer. It's a good way to be. Good. That's a good stance for a beer company. I like it. Yeah. They're like, have we offended anybody? No. Okay. It's right down the middle. America. It's all... It's all... I have to say, pretty strong so far. I like it. The only thing it's missing is America. That's the only thing it's missing. And once you throw that in there, that's going to divide the country. No, I don't. Yeah. You, I think it's all good so far. I, I haven't heard any negative yet. This is from CEO Brendan Whitworth, who continues to say, and I quote, my time serving this country taught me the importance of accountability. Ooh. Psst, hey, conservatives. I, I was in the army, pal. I was in the army. <laughs> yeah, or in a branch of the military. So uh, you want to talk about American? Let's fucking go. All right. Stop by. Stop. Would you boycott a soldier? Stop boycotting us. Just translating, like Frank. Let's do it. My time serving this country taught me the importance of accountability and the values upon which America was founded. <laughs> Three, right? Is that the third America? Yeah. Right. We have, we've, we've, I just, I've just put us running this through my machine. Ralph here, everybody, running this through my machine. We've got 134 characters without saying America. I think it's time we, they put did it, it three in. times already. Three times. They peppered it in. And then somebody else went, but should we mention, I mean, we said that he's in the army, but what if they think he was in the Canadian army? Good point, Ralph. You see? Good point, Ralph. Ralph is on his game tonight. Ralph's killing it. Ralph is killing it. Um, upon the so values, far so of, good. So far, so good. Yeah, the values upon which America was founded: freedom. Let's remind. Yeah. Should we remind them what the values are? Yeah. If there's anything Americans love, <laughs> it's talking about what values we were founded. On. They, you know what though? We got to talk about ourselves and how great we are. Every time, but it's the truth. Every it time. Is the truth. It's the truth. Every That's time so someone goes on a rant about America, it's we got our values, we got freedom, land of the free. But they're gonna go on about. They're gonna just you know pick things out of the the songs and the and the the, the speeches and everything, and it's gonna sound like this. So we're good. 100%. We're good so far. Um, freedom, hard work, and respect for one another. Boom. That's Even them different. trans gays. <laughs> Even them trans gays. <laughs> That is tr- respect. You got to respect each other. Yes, we're all Americans. We're all people. What's the problem? As CEO of Anheuser Busch, I am focused on building and protecting our remarkable history and heritage. 
I care deeply about this country, this company, our brands, and our partners. I spend much of my time traveling across America, listening to and learning from our customers, distributors, and others who are American. Five. I added that last one in. Oh, okay, four. Moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly to bring great beers to consumers across our nation. Which, by the way, is America. America. (laughs) That's four and a half, let's say. (laughs) All right, so is that the full statement? That's the full and complete statement from Mr. Whitworth there from Anheuser-Busch. See, I like it. I think I would have, if it were me and my company, I would have specifically mentioned we you know we're going to partner with anybody we want they're going to support us we're going to support them you know out of the gajillion partners that we have one happens to be trans what's the problem you know it's like i don't well, know, I think it's go ahead i think it's very interesting that that's what you said because i feel like it feels like to me you are interpreting this in the way you want to interpret it as no, a I'm, liberal person. Prob- no, uh, the problem I have with it, I do, I like the trying to stay in the middle and trying to make everybody happy route, but... Okay. Do you like the part where he mentioned America and its values? Which, which part? <laughs> and its freedoms? All the parts? Built on um, the fabric of freedom. Right. Um, the, the What I don't like about it is I would have addressed the issue head on. I would have said, listen... We have hundreds, if not thousands of partners, like they said. One of them happens to be trans. Get over it. They're a partner of ours. We love having this person as a trans, as our, uh, sp- as a partner. And if you have a problem with that, that that's your business. That's, well, you know. I think that would be a lot of people's problem. Is, is this even an apology? I mean. No, it's not. Not really. No. He doesn't mention I don't think- Dylan Mulvaney. At no. all, that's the thing. It's not an apology. I didn't expect it to be an apology. I, it shouldn't be an apology. It should be. This is who we're partnering with. We have hundreds of partners, if not thousands. One of them is trans. What is your problem? Even if all, if any of them were trans, it doesn't matter. They're See, they Americans. can't say that. They're they can't say one of everyone's. I, I, I don't. I don't get it. Here's why: because they'll get boycotted by the trans people for not hiring more trans influencers so they'll be double canceled and then they're really in trouble no that's stupid i would be uh if i if it were me again i would mention the the situation at hand i'd be like this is we love having uh was it mulvaney what's the first name dylan mulvaney we love having dylan mulvaney as uh a spokesperson doing a great job let me ask a question yeah can he say that? You don't think he wants to say that? I would have said it. So, I don't, you know, I, we, I don't have, know he... we, we have hundreds of partners. What's the problem? You know, well, I would... to them if you don't like if you don't like one, go to the other one. Again, it's so down the middle. You you can't. He's trying to make nice with the bigots. <laughs> and he's trying to Fuck make nice bigots. with the liberals. I'm sorry, but if you have to choose, if you have to make a choice. Fuck the bigots. That's my that's my mm. that's my stance. If you're a bigot and you don't want to drink my beer because you're a bigot, then you can go fuck yourself. I'd love to know what cap what comes of this because the resp- like I could see now the other side, the the liberals, the people who support trans people, getting upset that he's not condemning, you know, this or supporting or that's standing behind Dylan. You know, he's kind of leaving him out to dry. Is he trying to appease people that are just trans hating? I think he's trying to settle everybody in a a type of uh, business-like compromise, and he's trying to make both sides happy. But I love how that supporting another person is a liberal thing. Like, how is that not an American thing? Well, if you're supporting a gay person, it's a liberal thing. If you're supporting, so conservative, if you're conservative, you're, you're bigoted. It's hate against anybody that's no, no, true. no, no. The conservatives are very big supporters of fetuses. They are all about. Okay. Once you're born, though, the fetus. That's it. 
Yeah. Once you're born and, be, and you become who you are, it's just go fuck yourself. Is that a is that a, a regular fetus or a gay fetus? I need to know. Yeah, because <laughs> I know I gotta know if I can support this fetus. <laughs> I don't want to be supporting this fetus, and then it comes out drinking my beer, turning me gay somehow. Uh, I, I don't understand that. How supporting a person who's not hurting anybody, who's just living their life, making a living, doing something that we wish we all wish we could do is, you know, be a spokesperson for a major brand, doing something commendable, doing something nice and fun and whatever. That should be an American thing, supporting that person. Listen, if they're not doing if, anything shameful or, or bad, support that person. What's the problem? But no, that has, to Dylan, be a, that has to be a liberal thing. Listen, if Dylan Mulvaney wanted support from America, then mm. she should have crawled back into her mother's vagina That's true. and yeah. shrunk by a lot. <laughs> That would have given, that's it. That would have given her all the support. I, t- I tell you what, that trans is making a lot more sense from the womb there. <laughs> we got to do everything we can to support that. Now, that hold fetus. on. Hold on. Let's, let's give her a chance. <laughs> that's a that else kid we'll never get to see. I have a way to solve the gun problem in america <laughs> just just have dylan mulvaney be a spokesperson for the guns Ooh, then they why? would all boycott the guns and that would be over why hasn't anybody thought of that dylan <laughs> <laughs> dylan mulvaney problem? if you're listening please go to your nearest gun range and fire off a couple rounds show your support for NRA. guns <laughs> NRA, join the NRA, be a, be a big, a big <laughs> supporter of theirs, and you'll see the other side be like, "Fuck guns, we don't want anything to do with guns," and it would be over. Why hasn't any? This is the most brilliant thing you have ever come up with. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I think I may have seen that somewhere, but I'm not. I can't be a hundred. No, take full credit for it. It's the internet. It doesn't matter anymore. It's, yeah, I saw it somewhere on the internet, but I don't none know. of it makes a difference. Stealing is okay now. I thought of it organically, but then now I'm thinking maybe I saw it somewhere. But that would be. I think that would be the solvable. Holy crap! I would love that. Wouldn't? Wouldn't? What would happen? You think this out. Let's see. So she, Dylan Mulvaney, supports the guns. Hey, this is Dylan Mulvaney for Smith and Wesson. <laughs> yeah. For AR-15s. That's it. And you'd have Kid Rock going, you're throwing his gun on a fire or something. You know, when I'm, I'm drinking, drinking my-, my blue moon, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm uh, no more shooting for me. It, I can't have automatic ri- rifles anymore. That's it. Mm. I mean, I think we do that and we would solve everything. That would be amazing. Uh, Beat by Drum says, uh, speaking of guns, Mike Pence got booed at the NRA convention. Why? Yeah, what did he say? Were they all jealous jealous of his luscious, beautiful hair? Because I would that's what I would boo him. They were probably upset that they forgot the uh, the gallo back home and the noose. They, mm. they wanted, didn't they want to hang him for a little while? I think they did. <clears throat> Shit, there was another comment I wanted to go to, but now I can't find it. Oh, damn it, Frank. I don't know, Pe- man. People are with you. Uh, Frank is a genius from Bird. Hey, would you blow me 100% with Frank on this one? Regardless of what their statement was, they should have praised Dylan. Told anyone who doesn't like it to take a height. Don't need your kick rocks. I love I love, love it, Haywood. Hey, kick hey, rocks. Would you blow me? I'm with you. Kick rocks. That's a great phrase. It's such a great phrase. That's what I was going to say, too. There's nothing more American than being like, hey, this is what we're doing. You don't like go fuck yourself like that would have been an all time statement. Uh, he's that's got stock American... options, though, so I get it. Kid Rock basically said, go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's an so American say, thing hey, to do. Kid Rock, go fuck yourself right back. Unless you're talking to a fetus. That is the that is the best thing you could say as an American. Right. A hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. I feel like I mean. If, if at the very least I could see it being on a, on Saturday Night Live, you know you have Dylan Mulvaney come out and and do yeah. like a fake commercial or something, but I think she should legitimately reach out to whoever manufactures AR-15s. I think it's the A and the R in there. Is it doesn't mean assault rifle. It means whatever the manufacturer's name is or something. Is that right? I, I didn't think know that. So. It doesn't mean assault rifle. You taught me something. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, believe me. That's the first thing gun nuts tell you. Oh, you probably think AR-15 assault rifle. It's like, no, nah, all right. <laughs> the first thing they come out of the gate with. As soon as you as soon as you say something negative about their precious guns, they go, well, AR-15 doesn't mean a, uh, assault rifle. I could surprise you to know that. You wouldn't know. You don't know anything about guns. That's funny. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Gives a shit what they call them. They're, they're stupid. <laughs> so. That's like in hockey. The they have captains who get a C, yeah. and alternate captains who get an A. But if you say it's assistant like captain, people are like, well, "No, you don't fucking know, what? man." What? You, that was your first game? You were watching hockey? <laughs> Fuck. It's like, who cares? Your assistant doesn't. Matter. You get you can get kicked out of Canada for that attitude. It's kind of true. Um, here's what's depressing though about all of this. Like I. I don't want to be one of these negative Nellies or Debbie Downers, but it is it is really hard to see an organic movement anymore. This anti Dylan Mulvaney thing is organic because I think the Kid Rock thing and everything. But for it to get to that point, it took a bit of a push. And I hate to say it, but I feel like most of our society now, this is kind of the way things go because... It, nothing just kind of goes from, you know, zero to f like 50, 60 without getting helped. There's a conservative consumer group which sends out woke alerts to let Americans know when, you know, a company backs an initiative or a person or something that doesn't like what, you know, that goes against their values, you know. I hate, I, I'm beginning to like, I don't, I would love to ask a person who is against being woke, what they think woke means. Mm. Because the, all it means is inclusiveness. That's it's just including everyone and everyone's equal. That's all woke means. It means if you're a trans person, if you're a straight cis male, if you're a, whatever you are, whoever you are, we're all equal. That's that's all when you get down to it. That's all woke means. Everybody's equal, deserves the same opportunities and the same respect. And if you're anti woke, you're anti equal equality. That's it. I don't understand. I, I can't explain it a different way. That's that's it. Woke has become a, a dirty word. On one side. Yeah. And I and what I didn't know until like yesterday or the day before. I was, you know how Janine goes, I have a friend who. Oh, yeah. I was I was getting food. I feel like all my stories are food related. But I was oh. getting food at this deli, and I overheard these guys talking. And I would love to know if this is true. I wonder, is Paul with us? Because he's always, he's always like on the ball with these things. I didn't see him it's yet. Like one night that Paul isn't on the. I know. Maybe somebody else can help me. Bird's also good. Like everybody in the chat's good. Everybody's um, good. What do we got? Somebody's they, they. So this guy was telling this other guy that woke actually it, it started in the hip hop in African American community, that it was okay. their plea for equality, and yeah. that it's kind of been again like a lot of other things that start in in the African American community, hijacked, taken, you know, adopted for something else entirely. I don't know Maybe, how true yeah, that could is, be. but I don't know because it sounds like it felt true because they were saying they were naming a couple of rappers that that were like it, here's like with the first time they said woke in a song they wanted America to wake up that kind of whole thing, which right sounds like and it could I'm, be very true. Yeah, and that that could very well be, and I'm you know, I think it's it it has evolved into this all inclusive thing, and I didn't know that origin but um the 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 thing i have a problem with is the other side the people who are against being woke like what is so bad about it i don't understand alert to racial prejudice and discrimination yeah being aware of what's going on right uh for the Afri african-american vernacular okay yeah see and give them credit man yeah, thank you, EVH. Good job. Um, and I think it's a racial prejudice. So what's wrong with 
being woke. I don't understand what the problem is. What Fucking does the Robin. other side have, have a problem with? Somebody better call Paul. <laughs> Somebody get Paul on the line. It's a better call Saul joke, I think. That's what I'm oh, giving okay. him credit for. That works. Yeah. All right, so it turns out Deli Guy was Deli Dave was being honest with Deli Daryl. Uh, he was telling the truth. Dave and Daryl. There you go. Good for them. Uh, right, is TikTok banned? It's it. Well, I'm sorry. Last thing. It's a it, the company is called Consumer Research, and the this is the company who's has these woke alerts, and they've already hit Bud Light, Jack Daniels. Um, they're like this is like their thing. Like they just you know. So I wonder what these alerts are. Hey guys, we've got a gay person saying that they like beer. We we can't have that. It's like what what who is the the person who asked actually to craft the alert and send it out. Hey guys, look at all this. Let's hate this person now because they're not like us. I'd love to see their algorithm because they're following all gay and trans people. You yeah. know? Beat my drum. Woke equals equality on all levels and those against it are anti woke. That's that's what it that's what it comes down to. Every, every time I hear anybody go, we gotta get rid of this woke agenda or this woke this or woke that, they're usually talking about treating someone else as an equal go woke go broke that makes no sense that's what they says what the kids are saying are the kids saying that mm -hmm. that's what the cool cool kids on tiktok are saying okay i'm sure <laughs> are they banned that is a saying though the tiktok that is a that is, go woke go broke is a is a saying. Well, i've heard that saying yeah but i thought that was a concern a right leaning quote What's funny is, is the marketing director for or the marketing head of marketing, whatever, for Bud Light was kind of like, kind of came out. It was a little, had a little piss and vinegar in her veins, which I liked because she was like, you know, when they hired me, they, <clears throat> they hired me to take over this fucking frat house shitty brand that had been in decline for the last billion years. And I tried to get it to, you know, to go to younger people and like reach with these other people, you know, to revive this brand. And like, like now this is happening and it's like, it's true because everybody abandoned Bud Light for everything else. Hard seltzers, you know, other they beer have, brands. They have hard seltzers. I saw most of the, on, uh, uh, what's it called? Twitter. You see these people going, oh, I'm going to stick with Co Marjorie Taylor Greene. This drink, she's got a, a Coors in her hand. I'm like, got, I got news for you, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Coors is very uh, pro- LG, LGBTQ. Yeah. Most companies. So what, most, companies yeah, are. most companies, if not all, you know, any you throw a dart, you're going to hit a company that that supports the LGBTQ com, uh, community. So as long as that dart doesn't hit a fetus, it's fine. It's Boom. going to be okay. Keep your um, darts away from my fetus. Speak, speaking about the backwards ass parts of our country, Montana is the first state to ban TikTok. So you can't. So if you're in Montana, mm -hmm. you're not getting a feed of tic, you're not getting a TikTok feed. You cannot get TikTok. You cannot. The Apple Store and the Google Play Store cannot, inside Montana state lines, provide the TikTok app to be downloaded. So what if you already have it and you go into Montana? That's a great great question. I I think you're okay. I mean, I don't know if you hop on the internet, if they're able to ban it, if they're going that far into it, I don't know. But regardless if they are or not, we are talking about Montana. So according to the latest reports, TikTok, because of this ban, has lost a grand total of six people. So it's going to be a tough go for the six oh teenagers <laughs> in, in Wyoming. Is that a joke or is that for real? That's a joke. Okay, all right, because that... Because I could see that being for real. <laughs> <laughs> that tells me it was a halfway decent joke. Thanks. It man. was. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Uh, but well, why? Do they give a reason? The state house voted 54 to 43 to pass the bill, which goes further than prohibitions in place in nearly half the states. Oh, so here's the other thing. They also have banned TikTok if you work for the government. So if you work for the state government in Montana, you already could not have TikTok on your phone. So if you had it, you got to get rid of it. 
Yeah, and they're not the only ones. That they're not the only ones who have done that. A lot of other states. I can't go through the list, but it's a bunch. A bunch of other states have banned state employees from Didn't having TikTok through, on their phone. Wasn't TikTok the like the uh, the guy, the CEO of TikTok? Wasn't he grilled by Congress and they nothing came of it? Like, yeah, yeah kind of. You know, not that they have nothing, but that they're not really spying on us or whatever. Isn't that what came? I I don't know. I don't know what happened with that. Maybe they are spying on us through TikTok, but I have no idea. Do we know what happened there? I mean, look. They, it's not great, right? I mean, I'll say that. It's, it's not great, but I think they're they're making, well, basically what TikTok said was we're, we're making, we're going to be fine. Like we're going to move our servers from Singapore to the U.S. Everything is going to be stored here in the U.S., Nobody's going to have access to this. I mean, take that guy for what it's worth. You know, I don't know. Um, I don't really know. The point, what what I think is getting skipped over a lot is nobody fucked things up worse than Facebook, right? right? And I don't entirely blame Facebook because they were first. I don't think Facebook or anybody really saw coming how people were going to be able to manipulate the public you know, and do some of these crazy things that they've been able to do. So Facebook was the first person, the first company to screw that up. And then TikTok came along and has exploded so much so that Facebook, I don't care what anybody says, is helping fund this anti-TikTok movement, spreading some of these stories around about China. And so I, I don't know what's true. I'm not really sure, but I know that TikTok is not guilty of anything more than what Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all these other places have have been accused of already. They're all on the same level. I, that's what I thought. And I'm going to play dumb here for a minute. Uh, really play. What uh, you sign up for TikTok. What's China learning about us? So China. Pay, oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. That's that. That's what, always get my, my name argument. and I get my email address and my age. Yeah. What, what are they? That's always my argument. Uh, look, I, I we have a right to privacy. I get it. We don't want to give that up. I completely agree. You know, China might be able to use this information to manipulate us in certain ways. I think that's true. How? But I haven't seen one political. I don't see anything political usually on TikTok for the most part. It, that That's the God's honest truth. And it, whenever something political does come on my TikTok, I skip it immediately. Yeah, I'm not because, you know, it's someone making up some bullshit or whatever it is. You know, I don't go. To, you don't go to TikTok for politics. I, you go for stupid videos of people falling downstairs or whatever the hell. To funny exactly. Music. Exactly. Know, I, I don't know. You gonna yeah. see? You know, videos of Lizzo dancing or, or Taylor Swift dancing. It's uh, concerts and stuff. You're not. You know, you're not there to to check out what the government's doing or whatever. But hey, if. They think it's a some kind of secure. If they find out it's some kind of you know big security risk, you know what are you gonna do? But I I don't they I feel like they haven't yet. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I missed a news cycle. And they said and they found out TikTok is a big uh, is a big problem. I I just I don't remember seeing that. But well, it's not even that they found it out, but um, it's that they have the potential because China passed this long this law saying that they could any company that they have an investment and in, they could access all their data so the potential is there that they could do this oh and i'm sure they, they would if you know if they have the ability why wouldn't they um but so tiktok's where is tiktok located like their whole thing is in S singapore singapore yeah so bird china knows what less montana dinner looks like <laughs> that's true they're in general right now going oh we, we, what's what are they eating in montana i don't even know yeah what are, what kind of dinner yeah what are they is it snowing there maybe we can do something with the wet no we can't okay oh, this is funny too <laughs> montana has single-handedly thwarted china's plan we're saved <laughs> way to go montana thank you montana leading the way as always I would trade, if I could trade a state to Canada, Montana would be one of the first ones I would try and put on the table. I mean, I'm trying to think of what we got going on in Montana. That's 
Nothing that's not going on in North Dakota. I will tell you that right now. Those two square nothing states are interchangeable. It doesn't make a difference. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, is there even a a cool landmark or some kind? I'm sure we've got something cooking Mm -hmm. in that state that we don't know about. Maybe that's a it's a nothing state that is nothing to us, but something to someone else, you know? If not for Joe Montana, we would have forgotten about the state of Montana altogether. That's probably true. It's very true. It's very, very true. Isn't that right, J. Sabs? Our Montana so expert, J. Sabs, in the house. Huh. How'd you know? What yeah. about Tony Montana? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. The state, the state of Montana, is like the fifth most popular Montana. You got yeah. You got Joe Montana, Tony Montana, Hannah Montana. Hannah mm. Montana. Good call. Your your Yo dog. Mama Montana. My my dog from years ago was Montana. What mm. did you say, Jaceps? Yo mama Montana. Your mama Montana, and then the state. Not your yo. I say your. Yo mama. Usually I say your mother. Mm. Your matriarch. I say. Um, I think Jaceps is gonna boycott Montana. She can't go without her TikTok. Oh no 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 no! I would. Did you hear, did you hear that news? My Monta- guilty no more pleasure. TikTok in Montana. Now, here's the thing, though. I know they could do it, what, from, like, IP addresses? Mm-hmm. That's how they track it. Um, also, um, computer expert, j You can go into someone else's... Like, you, you, could, you could hack into someone's, um, like, router and use their IP address in another state. So, people will find a way around it. Yeah, that's true. And they're so close to Canada. Like, can't they just right. get Canada internet and get it? Canada internet. I like it. Why not? But they're Monta- Montanians. Monta- mm. Mon- mm. I don't know. That's what they got to use. Yeah, VPNs, you can do that. You know, there's all sorts of stuff. It's dumb. I have no idea. <coughs> yep. It's dumb. I, and I predict it's the one and only time in 2023 we will discuss the state of Montana. <laughs> I think that's Frank, it. what's VPN stand for? Five, four, three, two. Very personal nudes. <laughs> In my case, yeah. Uh, varying penile. Uh, Please say network. network. You got to stick network in there. Okay. I'm sure it's. I don't. I don't know what the V is, but personal network. Is that what it is? Private network. Virtual. Virtual. Right. Per- Personal private. network. Is it private or personal? Personal. Misfit Chester per- says not private. private. I'm thinking of some. Well, I'm always thinking of personal things, not private parts. Uh, there you go. Or am I always thinking of private parts, and not personal things? Hugh Jundies. <laughs> we got some classics in our in our chat. Hugh Jundies. I don't get it. Oh, Hugh Jundies. <laughs> 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 You're not the target audience. It's easy to trick kids with social justice ideologies, which can later have detrimental real world consequences like a well known beer brand just discovered. I appreciate your point, but what the, the the fact of the matter is is kids are the only ones who are buying Bud Light for the most part. I mean it's I have I have a freezer a fridge full of Bud Light. I, have, I, have, I, have, I know a group of people who are like our age who love Bud Light. No, you don't. Look, I swear to God. I, oh, I can't. I tell had you. Bud Light in my fridge before Kid Rock opened. His yeah, mouth. but you're just trying to. Oh, really? Oh, that yes. you're just trying to be a dick about it. Yeah, but you have no. no I, you have zero taste in beer. That's probably have, true. But I, I, <laughs> I like Bud. I have no problem with Bud Light. I don't like Bud. I don't like Budweiser. No, but you don't drink beer Bud though. Light. You drink whiskey when you are gonna I drink, have. I have some beer every now and then. If I have poker, I'm drinking beer. I'm not drinking whiskey. While I'm playing poker. I'm drinking. Yeah, beer. but you're drinking Bud Light, so that shows. That Bud you don't Light. Really know I have. Beer. Uh, I have Michelob, and I drink. Um, <laughs> my favorite actually is. Um, what's oh, it called? Let me brace myself um, for this, Anthony. You too. Transweiser. <laughs> uh, I'm forgetting it now. It just went out of my head. The That's orange one. Oh mm. um, yeah, yeah. Uh, moon something. Around. Tranny Blue Light. Moon. Blue Moon. <laughs> Blue Moon's my favorite because you know me. I like the, I got the sweet tooth, so it's it's a sweet beer. 
That is a real bitch beer, though, if I could be totally honest with you. It's it a wheat beer. Yes. I don't care. It's whatever I, if it tastes good, I'm, I'm there. Let me ask you, do you pour your Snapple in your beer and then drink it with a straw, or do you like it just straight? Why would I do that? Some people do. Pour Snapple into beer? Iced tea and beer, it's a thing. I never I, heard of that. I'll tell mm-hmm. you what. You know what, Frank? Frank is a, you tell me if I'm wrong here, a bottle drinker. Like drink, he is a I, bottle drinker. You won't put it. You won't pour it into a glass with ice. If I have the bottle, I'll drink it out of the bottle. But I, I have beer mugs that I keep in the freezer. Every now and then, I'll, I'll drop some beer. No, no, not beer. I'm talking about like your Snapple and your iced teas and stuff. You don't. Oh yeah, I drink right out of the bottle. Yeah. Right out of the bottle. You will not pour into a glass with ice. If it's if it's not refrigerated, I might go with some ice. But I could drink it right out of the bottle. I don't care. See, that's it. That's it. I. Need a cold beverage. Do not give me a lukewarm beverage. Oh, no. Can't have it. I remember growing up and in your house, all of your sodas and everything were in your garage. It's true because my parents were savages. Now oh. you come to my house and everything is in the refrigerator. Oh, good. Okay. But if that was the case, I would put it on ice. All right, I'll give you that. You yeah. would just drink it right out of the bottle. Hell yeah. If I'm thirsty, I'll drink it right out of the bottle. It could be warm. That's fine. Virgil penile knobs was that mm-hmm. I guess? I'm going with the, that was a good one. I'm going with visually pleasing nipples. Nay-nays? Nipples. And nipples. Nay-nays is funnier. Um. That was good. I was gonna say. All right. Well, we'll come back to you. Don't worry. We have plenty of time. Uh, Selino and Barnes, the play. This is the news <laughs> that you picked tonight. You couldn't get anything else. <laughs> this is weird. It's Friday. Well, look at, the, look at the list. We got a lot of stuff on the list. Yeah, though. we got to go through this one quickly. What oh. the hell is this? So, I so could, don't... Wait, ahead. I'm sorry. I think I could do one, two. Uh, okay, at least two. I would knock off the top. Can I tell you which ones? Yeah, which ones you want? This wouldn't? one, the Selena and Barnes, because really. <laughs> and also, Nicolas Cage's favorite movies. Who gives a fuck what he likes? I'm Frank sorry. loves oh. Nick Cage. <laughs> Wait, are you talking if about If it said Britney favorite? Spears. I'm Nate, sorry. His favorite ahead. movies or your favorite movies that are he's in? Nick Cage named his favorite movies that he's was in, his five favorites. Oh, he's so See, that's the whole that's the thing. He's so full of himself. Mm-hmm. If Britney Spears was saying her five favorite Britney Spears songs, you would you would want to talk about that. Mm. That's pretty true. Perhaps, but she actually made them. Well, that's Nicholas Cage. These are his favorite Nicholas Cage movies. He's how we about- go? How about we go to that? Because all uh... right, yeah, you're right. The, the, <laughs> the thing is taking us there. Well, it's weird though because the the cool the thing, thing to is- say always is like, oh, I can't pick my favorites. I love them all. Right. That's what you should say. Nick Cage was like, "Here's my five favorites." Can I? Can like I guess? Did. Which one loves me more? Or I have not seen this more? list. By the way, Anthony Sun has a crush on me. Go ahead. <laughs> You know, <laughs> we gotta go to that next. Okay. Um, you, I will bet you any amount of money you don't get one of these. Really? I know which one is. Okay. All right, so it's not the mainstream ones. I'm it's not saying mainstream. anything else. I my a guess would be leaving Las Vegas. Hmm. All right, you wanted me to give you each individual, or well, as I say Can them, I tell me if one? it's yes or no. Yeah, Janine can guess, and I'm gonna. That's a no, Frank. That's a no, not leaving Las Vegas. Yeah, that's a no on leaving Las Vegas. Okay. Raising um, errors. Oh, is uh. Let Janine Janine's guess. Gonna go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hold on, I'm trying to remember the name of this one, because it's so fucking annoying. Uh, Describe. Please, it. please tell me that the Wicker Man is not on there. Oh no, no, that can't be. No. Not the bees. Miss Justice uh, said Ghost Rider. I think she's making fun of you, Frank. I think uh, it's messed the, up. There's beef now between <laughs> Miss Justice and Frank. What's happening here? Um, I would guess uh, Raising Arizona. Nope. Damn. Moonstruck. Nope. Oh, God. I will say National Treasure. No. Damn. Uh. Mm. Nick Cage. Uh, not gonna be family man. No. 
Oh, oh, snake family, eyes. Family Man was so good. Snake Eyes. Oh, that was so corny. No. Snake Eyes. The Weatherman. Nope. Um, um, what else? Uh, face Off. No. Bangkok Dangerous. No. Because he married to an Asian woman. Go ahead. Captain Morelli's Men. No. Kick yeah. ass. No. Nope. Drive. What'd you say? Or drive no. angry or something? No. Or drive. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, God. Nicholas Cage. Is it going to be this new one? With, uh, I don't know. What it, oh, no. No, it's not the new one. Renford or Renfro? Or Renfield. Renfield. <clears throat> it's not that one. Man. Um, Christmas Carol, the movie. Family Man was good. You didn't like Family Man? Trapped in Paradise. No. Snake who's Eyes. The, no. Who's the girl in, in Family Man? I'm a big fan of hers. Leah. Uh, it's uh, Leah Thompson? Leah? Mm-hmm. No, no. No. Isn't he right? No. no. It's um, Blonde Chick. Oh, what the hell's her name? Rhea Perlman? Yeah, it's Rhea. It's Rhea Scarlet Perlman. from Cheers. Uh, no, it's. Uh, oh, man. What is her name? She's Taya uh, Leone. Taya Leone, thank you. Um, what else? What else? Gone Not in sixty face seconds. Off. <laughs> Gone in sixty seconds. That's a great that. one. When he goes, "Let's ride." I love this. My favorite part. Was that not on the list? No, not even. Gone in sixty list. seconds, aka my Friday night <laughs> in about <laughs> in about twenty minutes. <laughs> my, uh, my orgasm. <laughs> Uh, you done? Oh, man. Oh, okay. I think we're done. Uh, you ready? <clears throat> mm-hmm. yeah. National Treasure 2, Book no. of Secrets. No, no. <laughs> All right, what? You're like the biggest Nick Cage fan. I knew you weren't going to get one of these. I've never heard of one of these fucking movies. You've never heard of them? Okay. No. Uh, Pig is his favorite movie. Oh, Really? Yeah, I've never seen it, but it's always on. It always shows up on Hulu, and I'm like, maybe one day. It's like a John Wick type movie, but with a pig instead of a dog. That shows up on your Hulu because it doesn't show up on mine. You got to <laughs> fucked up. You got to fuck up the algorithm for Hulu. Um, Ooh, Lord of War. That's a good guess. <gasps> the Rock. How did how do we miss The Rock? Nope, nope. To both of those. Okay, damn. Uh, he also said he loves Mandy. Okay, it could happen to you. No, that's my favorite one. He, that that's is a such one. a great movie. Wait, which that's one is that? The where one. he wins the lottery, but he tips the waitress like half. The, I'll split this lottery. He goes to a diner, doesn't have a tip, and says, "If I win, I'll split this lottery ticket with you." And he ends up winning, and he and he makes the papers because he split the ticket with it. Yeah, okay. he ends up splitting like millions of dollars. With He's him. a cop. It's a great. It's a amazing movie. It's a good movie. Well, he, what's her name is hot in that? Rosie Perez. She's good. She's hot. Rosie Perez winds up leaving him to fuck a really old guy. So Janine, this might this movie may speak to you. Watch that movie right up your alley. Yeah, the old guy is like See? old. Yeah. See. Oh, what about knowing? What'd you say? Knowing. No. Damn. Here's the other four. Mandy. Okay. Bringing out the dead. That's the Scorsese one. I don't even know nope. that one. Bad okay. Lieutenant. Wow. Oh. And a movie called Joe. Nope. Joe. I haven't heard of any of them. To be fair, there was a long period of time where he just kept making movies that nobody's heard of, and they went like straight to yeah. either streaming or whatever. And I he, think some of these are those. He named the five movies that nobody ever has ever heard of, including his wife and or mother. He's trying to build up some, uh, some, you know, some numbers on those movies, I guess. Yeah. All right, I'd go ahead, Janine. I know you've been, dying. Heard of. you've been dying to get to this. Go ahead. Talk about it. Go ahead. Talk about my son. So you heard. Oh, so but I the... spent some time with Anthony's son yesterday. Uh-huh. Not just me and him. Although he did ask me to go see Super Mario with him alone. Uh, he did? Wow. Yeah, he was like, do you want to come see it with me? I said, okay, me, your dad, your mom. He goes, oh, no. Just me and you. That didn't happen. Did that really happen? <laughs> I Can I tell you something? I can't believe how upset I just got just now. Because <laughs> I was going to, I'm taking him to see that. I'm like, holy yeah. shit. He's just bro code, though. You got to let him go. Right. I know. I know. I would have had to. <laughs> Imagine he's like, 
Actually, I'm just going to see it with Aunt Janine. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. Um, no, we hung out and like. It's weird when you say it like that. We, we hung out yesterday. We had a play date. <laughs> oh, I hate that term. I do hate that. I don't. I don't call it that really. I, I text cool. your wife and say, "Oh, you want to have the kids hang out?" Okay, cool. All right. Um, Here's what, let me translate for everybody. It's the week everybody has off. It's, not mine though. It's mine had to, off last week. But. Oh, really? I was gonna say it's come to Thursday. Parents have had enough. They're trying to coalesce with other parents to lessen the burden of dealing with their own children. So my wife goes, I think Janine is is free. I'm going to dump the kids. You know, we're going to, you know, hang out so I don't murder these children. I said, okay, it's fine. I noticed that my son was overly excited. Oh, really? He was like, oh, we're going to Aunt Janine's or we're going to Aunt Janine. We're, we're going to hang out with Aunt Janine. And I was like, well, he's really excited about this. Now, again, I don't know if it's because it's Thursday and he's been staring at his sister and his mother all week and he's had enough. I don't know. But I noticed he was very excited. And then my wife mentioned something to me that he was like acting up and looking for attention. And then it was like, oh, maybe he's got a little crush on Janine. Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. I said, sorry, Michael. I like men a lot older than you. That's true. Yeah, come back um, in 80 years. Yeah, he was cute. He was like doing some kind of dance. And then um, Davidica's like, oh, stop it. Michael, oh, see, you you like her because you were very excited this morning when I told you what we were doing. And he was like, stop it. Oh, no. <laughs> that really did happen, though. So This is so cute. weird. This is very strange. I know. I was like, <laughs> I think he thinks I'm funny or something. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Um. <laughs> I know. So when he got back, he goes, he goes, Dad. He goes, Aunt Janine. I go, what about her? He goes, is she as big of a whore as I think she is? And I go, <laughs> oh. and I said, first of all, bigger. And second of all, no. The, but the I, term is streetwalker. <laughs> <laughs> or whoa. I sat him down and I go, you need to be 80 years older than you are now. Right. Literally. Yeah. 80. I'll deal with 70, but you know. He's like, that's 87. I'm like, she's very, she's, she's got issues. Very particular. She's got. Yeah. She's got issues. Set in my ways. Yeah. No, he was cute. He was, he, he was acting funny. You know? It's a weird thing. Cause we, I'll be honest with you. Uh, if, if he turns out to be gay, it's totally fine with us. But you, as a parent, you always worry. You want him to have the easiest path in life, although you know that that's not going to happen. Right. But, like, he, like, this is the first time we've seen him, like, really show interest in somebody of the opposite sex. For real? A hundred percent. Like, the last time he was excited about anything, we were at Starbucks, and he said the the start was like, dude, he's like, oh, that guy's handsome. And we were like, oh, okay. Mm. Maybe that's the way we're going. That was the last <laughs> update we got. You know, I was like, oh, okay, that might be our path now. And now it's like, you know, you're like, but it's Janine. But okay, I mean, if we have to deal with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd rather him be gay than go after blondes. To be totally honest with well, you, no offense. Don't really Yikes. blame you. But um, yeah, you know, I don't All know. Right, the little crush. I feel like this whole thing is going to be, an, you know, you say things like, oh, uh, you know, you want him to be as close as close to what you consider your traditional norm so he doesn't have any issues in life, you know. But it's funny because it's not 20 years ago. Like uh, gay people have zero issues, you know. They don't have zero issues. I mean, they don't have what they had. I mean, they could get married now. They, there's oh, yeah, a lot more, you it's know. It's better yeah. than it used to be. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh, you know, we're not. it's not near anything you know, we're not at the equal, everybody's equal stage yet. But I will tell you, I I think about this from time everybody's to time. Not that I people. stay up at night, but I think about this from time to time and I go, him dating is, I just don't know how I can, I don't know, the both of them, finding a significant other. It's so complicated and difficult. I have like a little panic over it. Well, that's the thing. You, it's going to be a gradual situation. You're going to, you know, it's not going to be like 
one day it's just it, it, you're gonna hear rumors. Oh, they like this person. They like that person. Then it's gonna be oh, you know, they were hanging out or whatever. It's not just gonna be like oh shit, they're married. You know, you're not gonna wake up one day and be like in the middle of it. It's gonna happen organically and naturally. So not really. I wouldn't consider a dating app naturally and organically. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it happens. Go the dating app root. That root. <laughs> I think it happens nothing, like nothing, this. But- Ooh. I just knocked my things out. That's what she said. Mm. I don't know. I feel like, you know, you know how you used to get nervous, like going into a hockey game, but like you're nervous thinking about the hockey game, but then it, everything happens step by step. You get there, you put the equipment on, you're hanging out, you go, and then it just naturally you get into it. I think that's how it's going to be. You know, you just—it's just, just going to be a natural progression into their well, into that world. All right. So this all started with like I was thinking like, oh, what if he's gay? And then I'm like, oh, if he's gay, then he's got to worry about people picking on him, right? Because like I don't care that he's gay, but I worry about what he's going to have to deal with. And then I start thinking, all right, well, if he's not gay, what if he starts dating an asshole? And then mm. it's like you got well, to worry about. That's for your wife to worry about then. I mean, I guess so, but. I don't know. I and you're like, what if they're weirdos? What I, then I think like, what if they like grew up where I live now? You know, uh, you, just, you start to think all these things, and you're like, oh, this is uh, it gets yeah. very panicky very quickly. But you know, you got to be confident on how you how you raise them, and that to know and be confident in their ability to choose. I'm not confident who, in how I raise who them to date and you know mm. choose their partner wisely. I guess. Yeah. Okay. But here's the thing, though. Like, no matter how good a job you do as a parent, you know, you it's just worrisome putting them out in the world. Like, of course, you're gonna, gonna get everything. their heart broken. They're gonna. Mm. Well, you worry at every state. You worry about what school they're gonna go to. You worry about, uh, you know, when you. You drop them off at a daycare thing. You worry, you're going to worry no matter what situation they're in, right? No matter what situation you put them in, you're going to worry. So this is just going to be another one of those situations. It might be a little bit of a bigger scale, but they're going to be older and they're going to be able to handle it a little better, mm. um, hopefully. Instead Beat my drum. I also prefer brunettes. No offense to any redheads or blondes. Oh. It feels like that's a shot at... at- Ginny. J. Sabs, yeah, but I, I'm I'm with you. Beat my drum. I'm on your side. You could you could totally offend Janine. She, she, she's all right with it. Miss Justice, oh, how old is he? I don't know, Janine. How old is he? Um, he is seven. There you go. That's young. Um. No, it was funny. I last time though, I made him laugh, and I wonder if that's why. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, probably dancing or something, you know. And I just made him laugh. Darn, I forgot what it was. Maybe that's why he was very excited to see me. Or maybe because he kept playing with his penis again when I saw him. <laughs> oh, and boy. that's the other thing I thought of. How many times you made that crack? You got to put it into that. That's got to that's gotta stop. And I'm like, well, oh. It always happens, though. Well, that's the other thing. I mean, Janine, aren't you terrified about having to have the conversation with your kids? Like, I am terrified. Which conversation? The sex talk. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, any of the social media apps will do that for me, so it's okay. <laughs> no, but you got to no, do a YouTube um, video on that, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, is there? I don't know. I don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up right after the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell this. you something funny <laughs> about that. Um, I was telling your wife that my two kids like this new show on Netflix called Emergency NYC. It's based, I told you about it. Mm-hmm. Your kids it, watch that? I was watching it one day and I don't know. They came in the living room and they were like, oh, what's this? And one of them loved the brain surgery. Oh, boy. And the other one liked the um, C-section surgery. And they, they oh. really show it. They really show. To me, it's amazing. Like, I like watching surgeries myself. Oh, my God. I know it's weird. Um, that's weird. So they both loved it. So I was telling your wife about it. And then your wife said to uh, your daughter, that's how you came out with the C by ways of C-section. And your son goes, how did I come out? And I said, you know what, Mike, let's go for a Uh walk. (laughs) 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 So it's pretty funny. That could have been a 
she went through the talk and Anthony, you're off the hook. Yeah, or exactly. That was a that could have been. Eh, I'll tell you another time. Right. So you don't no. know. Maybe she maybe she had the talk. <coughs> I think there kind of needs to be two talks. I think you need to have the very innocent seven, eight year old talk. Yeah, like the stork and the. And then the, and then there's like the twelve year old. Yeah, yeah. Because my daughter, my daughter's adorable. Like she, when we talk about, like I always say to the kids, like, oh, you're gonna grow up and you're gonna get married and you know, you're gonna have your own family. My daughter still goes, I'm gonna marry Michael, her, her brother. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. And it is adorable because that's the only love she knows. Like that's you know, yeah. She talks about boys in class and things like that too. But that's like that's you know. But she's probably the closest with her brother. So of course, yeah. And they're like best friends at this point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. All right, I don't know where else we're we gonna go. Where did we we abandon Selena and Barnes? Lickgate. Lickgate. Okay. Uh, okay. Did he lick a gate? Is that what this is? <laughs> that would have been less weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, I saw this. I saw this what before this? you even sent. I mean, come on. I didn't see this. <sighs> you, you didn't see. This. It's Wait. not fake. Can you show it in the on the screen? You want me to put it on the screen instead of? Just... I don't have my phone with me. Okay. All right. Um, okay. You got to give me a second then. Yeah, Biden was giving a speech to, um, I think, Ireland. He was in, he was in oh, Ireland. Yeah, he was, yeah. And he told everybody to go, go out and lick the world. Go out and lick the world? Yeah. Well, is that like an old timey, like you could lick your problems, like that kind of thing? What? No. I've never heard of that. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, that's an old fashion. That's an old term. That's an old, very old way of saying like what? we're gonna lick our problem. Yeah, you're they haven't licked us this, this you know this time. It takes a lick and keeps on ticking. That whole. Oh, you know, that's what I do tell my husband all the time. <laughs> well, that, well, that's where that comes from. You know, it takes a licking. Like it takes a beating. Go out and again and lick the world. <laughs> meaning tackle. It's. A, a, I'll give you that. It's extremely weird old it's an old saying and to say it today is is weird but i th i'd have to assume that's what he meant mm. i don't think he literally meant lick the world i don't think he knows what he means all right if we're being completely honest with one another mm. all right sorry here let me let me get it up for you that's what she said i applaud your effort though frank i mean that that's what it sounds like to me Little Saying thing lick the world this. doesn't mean lick the world, in my mm. opinion. Okay, here he is. There's nothing our nations can't achieve if we do it together. I really mean it. So thank you all. God bless you all. Let's go. Let's go lick, lick the world. Let's get it done. My heart. There's nothing our nations can't achieve. If we well, it's either he stumbled over his words and he, he misspoke because he, he stutters a lot. That's his, that's one of his, his ticks or whatever. And he meant to say something else and it came out lick. I think he meant to say, fuck, let's go in the world. Hey, I'm, maybe that was it. Good point. Sorry, you're already doing that. <laughs> that would have been something. God. I, I have that's a question. What it sounds like to me. Let's go out and kick, you know beat the world you know like takes a licking is it a term is it, is it old i phrase? never heard of that before you never heard the term takes a licking keeps on ticking the old uh rolex commercials uh no the only thing i heard in relation to that was my back my wait that's my neck. literal licking my i'm back. talking about my, and my uh. you've heard the term or, you've or, heard the phrase no, actually, i refuse right. to believe you yeah. gotta lick it before right. you stick it I refuse to believe that you've never heard takes a lick and keeps on ticking. It, it didn't the first time you hear that song, you go, well, that's a little much. No. Hmm. Oh, we were like tw 12 at the time. At, not me at 13. Yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't feel comfortable listening to this song with my parents. In the room. No, it yeah, was everywhere you too. It, you blessed it in your own room with the door closed and your mother <laughs> screams, get off that slut shit. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of memories, a lot of memories coming up right now. Yeah, that is a dirty song that was played everywhere. I mm. loved it. I loved it. Oh God. I, I okay. This is how old it is. It's so old that I used to sing it to uh, my then boyfriend, now roommate. 
Wow. And then, and then he did. Sorry, Mom. I have a question. How many licks does it take to get to the center of the world? <laughs> Three. Oh. Three. That's the right answer. Um, I do applaud Frank for trying to cover up this He's trying he tries idiot. so hard, but <sighs> yeah. On, give me a break. I mean that's a nothing that's an it's not I wouldn't label it as a gate. Mm. A lick gate sounds so good though, doesn't it? That's true. It does. I mean literally if he licked a gate, I would be like, that's less weird. Right. <laughs> that's not as strange. Was you gotta lick it before we uh before you stick it playing on in the background as he said that? I hope so. No, but that's what'll be on the TikTok highlight of this this clip. Thank you. <laughs> and you guys say it'll do anything for this for this pod. <laughs> when did we say that? We don't say that. We email it to each other. Um, oh. Or text. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just I hope that whoever's really running the country is doing a good job. That's my only hope at this point right now. Mm. Because I'm pretty sure, I mean, <clears throat> if you're a fan of The Office, Creed, this is a real life Creed. You know, like they they what? started a, a blog for Creed on The Office. Yeah. Oh. And they opened up a Word document, and put the web address on the top. And so he he would just type in messages like he was like blogging to the Internet. And uh, and that's what fucking that's what Joe Biden is at this point. He's a creed. He's just mm -hmm. they're just propping him up and you go say something and and that's it. By the way, I have a Netflix um, recommendation. What you got? Sorry, that was very random. It's called Beef. What? Yeah, exactly. Just watch it and then thank me later. The show? Mm hmm. I got to watch this jury duty because somebody I really love and respect just told me today. Like jury it's a good duty. show. Go yeah. yourself. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> that was a shot at me. Frank that was the other day. Frank suggested exactly. it last. Yeah, but he wasn't the person. Was, oh. <laughs> that's why someone told him today. That... Mm. No, but you know what? Since you told me, I've seen 17 ads for it on Instagram and TikTok. So it's... now you'll see 17 ads for it. Uh, beef. Beef. On Netflix, beef mm. on Netflix. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, the King's concert, you know, his coronation is coming up. I am shocked at who they're booking for the King's like coronation concert. Well, who are they booking? Like you would think. So for the Queen's thing, they had Queen. Makes sense, right? Like they had a bunch of like English artists. Elton John, Paul McCartney. It was Queen Duran Duran, who's, I think, English, or if not Australian, Wait, maybe? You're talking about the Queen's coronation? No, no, no. The Queen, when the Queen had her Jubilee, remember, like a oh, year or two? Jubilee. Like, I was like, yeah. it was. None of those bands were around during the coronation. Yeah. Got it. Um, but you would think, like, Elton John. You would think, like, sure. Paul McCartney. Like, we're getting a new king here. Right. Right now, it's who I respect, Lionel Richie. Respect, wow. totally. And then you would think British, though. Oh, would think hello. Would be British. Yeah, and then they just added Katy Perry. It's like uh, they're literally just called the, the American Idol offices. They called the voice. Yeah, people. Yeah. Like was it American Idol? Girl, and I liked it. You think she's gonna sing that song? I don't know. What could she say? It, yeah, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I love Katy Perry, but for a King's coronation, it feels like they're having trouble booking this thing. Last yeah. Friday night. <laughs> oh God! If they play that song, oh. Dan had a menage a trois. That's what mm. they're gonna sing at the coronation. Yeah, be nice. You think that they were C or D list? I don't know, but I can't wait to hear all night long at the coronation. Mm. <laughs> all night long. All night. I like I love Lionel Richie. I have respect for him. I think he's bigger than he is. But when you go on American Idol, that is so. D listy to Ooh, me. Oh, you think that's a no. step down? I really, I and I know it is a bit of a step up. Like going on Dancing with the Stars will raise your profile. I just, it doesn't in my book. It's a step down for me. Here's the thing, though. Look how much money Ryan Seacrest has. Okay. I know. How much well, that money was he when, made from American Idol? That was back in the day. We're talking nowadays, though. But still, he he makes the money from it now. Still. Does he? He I does. 
Yeah, I think he's a producer, isn't he? Oh, mm-hmm. he's he still got a hand in it, sure. Mm-hmm. Well, his production company makes just a shit ton. Is it on ABC anymore? Or is it on Hulu exclusively now? The American Idol. Um, no idea. No, yeah. it was on regular TV. I, mean, I hate to say this. It's kind of like The Simpsons. Like you know, it's super popular, but you really don't know anybody who still watches it. I don't watch it anymore. I used I, to up until maybe three or four years ago. Wow. So you stayed pretty late. I did. I feel like I haven't watched it since Ruben started. No, that was like season two. <laughs> Don't you have a problem caring, though, knowing that basically no one who has finished that show ever went on to any sort of stardom? I mean, Kelly Hello. Clarkson. Yeah, Kelly Clarkson. That was the very first one. Listen, Kelly Clarkson, I'll give you that one. The blonde who I picked, by the way, right out of the gate. What was her name? I wasn't, uh, wasn't Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood, that's the one who I picked from the second she auditioned. I said, that's the winner right there. It's the only time in my life I've ever done that. Two um, huge stars. Actually, the girl who we know from uh, our old no. neighborhood. No. She was J-Lo's backup singer. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Don't care. What's her name? Can I say her name? Pia Toscana. Yeah. I don't want to shit on her too hard because I think you know her, right? I do. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> isn't she banging some old dude? No, you jealous? Oh, uh, maybe. I, listen, uh, I, I believe me, if she was, I'd be very jealous. I, I respect Pia Toscano, she's from the neighborhood. I don't want to shit on her or anything like that, but you know, I don't she, know. she <laughs> was well, she still is a very good singer. Um, and she did promise me one day that. I could be one of her backup singers too, because we used to play has that. She game heard you sing? On, oh, 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 yes, she has because we used to play that game with the guitar. What's it called? Guitar Hero. Yep. <laughs> and I used uh, to sing. Maybe belt oh. out a few bars first. Let's hear it. Oh, you can't put me on the spot here. Well, um, you're gonna be a superstar. <laughs> what else did she do? I mean, she did. When J Lo did the um, but that thing at at Vegas, she had her own. What's it called when you have residency? residency? Yeah, she did it with her there. Jinx. Um. <laughs> um. I, yeah. Listen, I know she's working, but I mean, she's got a better. She's doing no offense. Better than us. <laughs> She's doing better than us. She's doing better than us. Never, okay. She never moved back here. She stayed in California, and that's well, hard to stay. That's there. not. Yeah, that's not necessary. I don't know how. I don't know. Better that's than hard us. to stay there. It is about, hard. Uh, I give her credit. I don't want to sound negative, but I'm just saying nobody from that show has ever. Clay Aiken. He had a. He didn't even win, and he had a decent. He was on Broadway for a while. He's got his own albums. It, believe me, just three people. Anthony. Nobody knows who Clay Aiken is. Nobody. What are you talking uh, about? Everybody knows who Clay. You guys, are, just, people in the chat, do you know who Clay Aiken is? Let us know. Cl- Kelly Clarkson. Um, Carrie Underwood. Carrie That's Underwood. It. That is it. No, Those are two stars. No. That is it. No. Everybody else is is C- D list. Ruben Stuttered, Clay Aiken, all these other people. Who's the I'm going home guy? He's barely has a career anymore. I don't even know uh, what that means. Okay. William Hunk. Oh. Don't tell me you don't know him. Come on. All right. Uh, she bangs, okay. baby. Okay, you know Jordan Sparks. She's a big person. Jordan too. Sparks. Boom. Jordan boom. Sparks is not a big person anymore. What are you talking about? She's in movies. She's in. She's what movie? Doing... Name a Jordan Sparks movie. Oh, she, she she's was in. in uh, I can't remember. Movie. But she was, in, she was up for like an Oscar. What? Wasn't no. she? No, you're thinking of the other one, the one who was uh, Hudson. Yeah. Was she on American Idol? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, maybe. She but you got to think about it. this show's been going on for 25, 30 years. They've gotten like four people, maybe. Well, many... It's really just two. Those two, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson and the blonde. Yeah, What's her name? It's more, it's more stars than you made. <laughs> it can't be 25 years. I'm trying it to think about be... that. Don't they do two a year sometimes? Yeah, because don't Jennifer make me feel Hudson. that old. There you go. Boom. Jennifer Hudson. There's, Jennifer a, Hudson. there's your other uh, American. They do do two, two a year. And by the way, I made Bud the Hippie, who is, he can't go anywhere on the east end of Long Island without getting accosted today. Oh, that's because so. he's Bud the Hippie. I had nothing to do with you. 
Uh, was Jennifer Hudson, did she win American Idol? Or she came in second? That was the other thing, too. When the ones who came in second were clearly better and getting more work after the fact. Like uh, that, that happens. Yeah. Clay Aiken, I think, got more work than Ruben Studdard. Jennifer Hudson, I don't know if she won, but she's that's another superstar from from American Idol. What do you? Uh, how many do you want? You want one every year? Oh, look at this! Well, yeah, so it's called American on, Idol, not American D list celebrity. What'd you say, Chris? That, that, Thanks, sell, Robin. that wouldn't sell too too well. What'd you say, Janine? Oh, yeah, I meant the got whole huge cast of. Um, when Pia was on it. Um, I don't remember what year that was, but I met the final 12. I met them all at um, something they did over here. I Look, you can't it. remember any of it. It's, nobody gives a shit. Daughtry, another huge the, star. The that they did. You so can't that? name, you met the top 12 on American Idol. You can't remember one of them for that year. Oh, yes, I can. Don't okay, say Pia Toscana. On. She's looking it up. This, <laughs> this is all lies. <laughs> no, no, no. no so, it up. There you go. We just named like Hold five or six minute. people. You're talking to me like Chris Daughtry is a right. massive star. Give He's me got a, a huge following. He, he does concerts. He's, he, he, has, he does. I don't know what to tell you. I'm pretty sure Daughtry's yeah. back playing clubs, not, not even theaters. I'm sure he's so. doing some concerts. He might not be doing uh, MSG okay, anymore, on. but he might be doing some big places. Hold on. He's got a following. Uh, Who's the guy who did Home? No, you're not alone. That guy had a hit. What? But that's the thing. Michael all Jackson. their hits, even even Daughtry, they were all written by somebody else. It was nothing to do with the with them. Who cares who mm. it's written by? They sang it, and they're the, the you know. <clears throat> that's who was nice. Um, Dolly Parton Casey. wrote. Uh, oh yeah, hello. Oh, she writes everything. Dolly Parton wrote uh, "I Will Always Love You," but Whitney Houston's famous for it. Yeah. Here's the thing: the biggest star ever to come out of American Idol was insulted after coming off a bad off-Broadway show <laughs> by a young blonde woman who stole salads in New York City. That's, I can't imagine. I can't imagine who that was. That's the true story of American Idol. What are you talking about? Kelly Pickler, I think, is another one. She's a big country star now. He doesn't like you, Janine, and doesn't care about any of your stories. He doesn't remember any of your stories. No. What are you talking about? Actually, was he? I don't know if he was on that. Eh, it doesn't matter. You when told he, it he, six he, times. He had to be on one of them. One of them. Hello. Don't you remember when I saw... What was his name? Constantine Morales. Morales. I saw him. I actually ran into him twice. But... The second time I saw him, he was coming out of Grand Central. And he just looked like there's something wrong with him. Like I, And the words came out of my mouth and I was like, oh, why did I say that? Because I was like, oh, you don't look so good. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did he but say? Like, he goes, yeah, what about you? And I was like, great comeback. <laughs> Now, the first time I met him, very nice. I was walking around, um, it was a fashion show, fashion week. And he was walking with some, I don't know who it was. And he's like, hey, have you ever seen Rock of Ages? And I was like, I was like, honestly, I'm not really into Broadway. And he's like, oh, you should come see it. And then I was like, oh, wait, you're in it. <laughs> And he was like, yeah. He was like, that's not why I'm telling you to come see it, but you should come see it. Very nice. Very funny. He just stopped you on the street and he said that? He just stopped me and he's like, uh, did you ever see, hey, did you ever see Rock of Ages? And I was like, no. I don't know if ticket sales weren't great, but I do know that all the girls went and and I did not go. No, all the girls went because I got tickets because yeah. they couldn't sell a fucking ticket. Yes. And they were giving it to everybody in media. Right. So that's why he stopped me. Yeah. But then when I saw him the second time, oof, oof, I still get killed. But and he, not that like you don't look so good. I think what Janine meant to say is, what time does your shift start at the diner later? Because you should clean it no, up a little bit. Not the diner, TGI Fridays on Forty Second yeah. Street. I thought it was a Greek diner. I'm sure he's doing just fine. Mm -hmm. Not Greek because he's Greek. Um, well, I didn't mean it the way it came out. 
I meant it like he looked like he lost something or he was just lost, if that makes sense. Like you look lost or you look confused or something? Yeah. Yeah. It's like so when he you said, know, when "What about tired. you?" And what did you say? What about? By the way, what she said was terrible. What he said is even worse. Like, if you were a celebrity, you should be able to handle shit without going. I know you are, but what am I? To some I don't know. That's a pretty strong comeback in my book. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, it takes one to know one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, she could have. He don't know. She could have been a, a huge fan that was just concerned. And he's fucking lobbing back. I know right. you are, but what am I? Yeah, but she wasn't. Oh, you don't look so good. Yeah, <laughs> my brother's on, that's in front a, of me to this day. That's an insult. You know, <laughs> kind of, kind of. So you know, and if the guy doesn't look so good, maybe he's not thinking so straight, and and he he came out with the best thing he could at the moment. Hmm. I remember he had like his guitar strapped to his back, and he was like walking. You know, like you do. <laughs> you know like, what's weird. <laughs> Just you know what's walking. weird? There's a kid here on Long Island, and I forget what his story is. I don't know. He's like a little heavy set kid, but he there's something with him. He can't see or something. There's some angle to his story, right? I forget his name. Anyway, he he hit on a, I think American one of the shows, and I was like, oh, and everybody like got behind him, like. Oh, he's Patch Hog's own. Like everybody go and vote. And I was like, oh, cool. I know That's what a, you mean. A nice thing to do. And then like a little time passed and it happened again. And I was like, didn't we do I I was like, this feels like deja vu. Yep. Like, like didn't we do this? And it turns out because he was on the voice this time. Yes, that's what it was. And then oh, I so swear to you. Kid. It's been four fucking shows where they're like, hey, the little, you know, the kid with the whatever issue is like making it. And I'm like, honestly, how could we care about this fucking shit anymore? Well, he's going to win one of these contests and uh, (laughs) he's going to win his way right into your heart. I mean, there's so many of these shows. They don't even give a shit anymore. Like, oh, an American Idol did this two years ago. No matter. Just come on over. We'll do the whole fucking thing yeah. of your mom crying about how proud she is that you made. Mm. I mean, it's great, but it's just bullshit TV fodder after a little while, you know? Yeah, that right. is so damn negative. I know, that feels really well, negative, but it's true. Uh, American Idol, they were going to cancel it, correct? Because they weren't getting enough viewers. At one point, they were. I, I forgot. Like they were. I think it got canceled, and then they brought it back. Like, yeah, yeah maybe that like, was it too. No, it switched. Remember, Fox canceled it, and then ABC oh, yeah. was like, "We will oh, continue yeah. to do this." Right. That's then, why. But it, go ahead. I was gonna say, after time, it gets repetitive, and that's why I stopped watching because it's like, okay, well, it's the same show. It's you know, they they do they sing, right. they kick out the bad ones, and they they just keep going. The stop the know. sob story from you know, that's back home. I, to be fair, I haven't watched it in got to be a decade and a half. Wow. Okay. So I don't know. But uh, I'm sure it's the same, you know, the, the first couple of rounds, <laughs> people get insulted because they can't sing. What are you going to do? But I don't know how people watch that shit anymore, to be totally honest with you. I really don't. And I'll tell you what, we're in a better America now than we were years ago because for a while there, it didn't matter what it was. There was some reality show built around finding right anything, the singer, <laughs> the, the model, the magician. It's still, we're still doing that. Oh god! There's all these cooking. There's who's the best chef? Who's the the best? I don't know. Gives a shit. There, there's all. Who's the best Lego builder? Who's the, the best, best Lego builder? builder? They got that Lego uh-huh. masters. Or uh-huh. I talked over Janine's line. It was probably funny. Sorry, what did you say? Who's the best blowjob giver? See, that would be a good... They haven't done this in porn, have they? Hmm. Not that I know of. They have mm-hmm. awards. I don't know. They yeah. have to have shows, though. Is there a better example of how award shows are useless than a fucking porn award show? <laughs> I mean, they're useless to a point. I mean, if you win an award, you get something right don't you get like yeah. like if you win an oscar you get a little extra cash you get to put oscar winner in your credit yeah i mean i can barely figure out how they determine who acted better in a completely separate role in a movie 
Now we're going to say who's banging better? Right. Yes. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Mm. I don't know what to tell you. All right. The show's ended 20 minutes ago, maybe. Ago. Yeah, it seems. When I, when I came. You, sh- you could have you told me I would have been upstairs in bed already. <laughs> Banging his wife. 420 show tomorrow. J Sabs. <gasps> I not was sh- going to. So. Not sure if she's coming. No, well, do I ever? I mean, uh, um, are you not joining us tomorrow? I am not. Heartbreaking. I thought actually I was going to be in Florida. I'm going to be there in a few weeks instead. But I have a birthday party. Damn kid. At night? But unfortunately, I have to see Super Mario. Oh, darn it. At Stop night? It. With your son. She doesn't have a party at night. She just uh, can't be bothered. Yes, you do. I have, I have a 5.30 party. And? Was it a seven-hour party? Yeah, but then we're probably going to go back to the girl's house afterwards. This is not a kid's party? or, or it's, is no, this... it's a kid's party. It's a kid's party. So where's the roommate? What kid? <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. It's one of the others. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, skipping out on the 420 I, show. Some of the, the others that you don't even know. Oh, Are the there other others? others? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That's some bullshit. We're not even getting the first tier others. She's skipping out on 420 to be with a second tier group of others. Second bullshit. tier others. That's some bullshit. Do you think the second tier others are like maybe we'll make it into first tier this year? I don't know. Let's, like, See, I think they're real... so second tier they don't even know about the first tier. No. I think they're sitting there going, "We got to make sure this party is great so that Janine calls us up to that Fourth of July party." <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> I want to get that invite this year. <laughs> Do you think every yeah, tier of friends, us included, thinks they're the first tier when, in, a, in fact, they're all we're all like second or third tier? Kinda. I think there's another group out there say, that exists. How do you that's guys first know tier. you're the, right? How do you guys know you're the first tier? Can I tell you something? This is blowing my mind because I feel like we're first tier friends, but now that Frank is saying it, I'm just not sure. <laughs> yeah, how do we know? We don't know. I feel like we how might be second know? tier. How do you know? Maybe we're others. Right. And what do the you... others call us? Um, Those others. people? As- Assholes. <laughs> they call you guys others. Um, how do you guys know that I don't have a crazy 4th of July party the Saturday, the weekend, the weekend, clo- the Saturday closest to 4th of uh-huh. July, where I go all out and we right. have our own fireworks. Right. How do you know I don't do we get that? the leftovers. Yeah. Right. How do you know I don't do that? Because it would be all over your social media. Mm-hmm. I suspected it once when Janine opened up the hero sandwich and there was a bite missing. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's like maybe somebody had this, this is left over from a this party. Looks, this looks oh, the pickles were stolen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, now Anthony's thinking. Damn, does she really have a party on that Saturday? I think I think we're we're being we're being conned here. Mm-hmm. Who do you think Janine really thinks is her like friend group? Oh. Is that weird? Because Janine's in my friend group. <laughs> And I wonder if Janine, if if, uh, if you and I, Frank, are in the secondary friend group. Janine's primary friend group for me. Same. Oh, you really think that about me? I wonder. I didn't say I think it. I no, said we... I wonder if we're a secondary friend group. Are we secondary friend group? Because we're not going to say we're prim- primary. But to be fair, there? I feel like the others knew her first. Right. But it feels like we do things more, but I don't know if that's just the lies that have been told to me for the last. Also, you didn't come last week, Anthony, but. But the others weren't there. Right. But, but we haven't seen each other. We were saying we haven't really seen each other since Christmas. How do you know in all that time that I wasn't hanging out with the others? You could have been with the others. See, now I feel like we're first tier because of Christmas. We we're in Christmas dinner together. Yeah, but okay. Christmas dinner isn't on Christmas. No, but there can be if there's other Christmas dinners now. But I will say this: there are some people who shall remain nameless. That oh, that's, said, not all that, that's, that's not even. That's not even. I can't make Christmas <laughs> because I have more important people to hang out with. Like my I first tier neighbors. 
<laughs> no, I never said I have more important people. I said I made a commitment to other people that I that I made first. I, that was it was already planned. I first tier people out. is what you're saying. You're an ass. All I know is we consider JSAB's first tier, but how do we know we're first tier in her eyes? I'm sitting here wondering if I'm JSAB's first tier, and then I realize I'm not even as high as Frank's neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> right. And meanwhile, you know him since basically started grabbing your dick, Anthony, just like your son. <laughs> that's not even a. Fr- I mean, there, that's a acquaintance level. I'm underneath the neighbors. Jesus Christ! Let me ask you, uh, Frank, since I never asked you this before. What are you going to ask me? Do you have a neighbors text group? Uh, no. He's sure? got a, He's got an Android. I don't think they have text groups oh, no. yet. I'm in your. Te- I'm in this text group. Oh, yeah, that's right. The only text Let- groups really that I'm a part of. Oh, let's hear. Are it. this poker? one? Are us and the poker thing. That's it. Is your wife involved with the neighbors text group? Sure. Mm, good question. Oh, there is. <gasps> oh my god. It's the it's the the ladies on the block. Yeah, but it's all about usually block stuff and. Who's hang? Want to hang out? You know, one night or whatever. It's 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 friendly stuff. It's block stuff. Wait, who wants to hang out at night? I'm sorry, a- Anthony. Do, do we like get texted a, by hanging out at night? I can't even go to the movie. It's, a la- the it's last minute stuff. Like, hey, uh, you know, it's like, hey, who wants to just come out, come over, have a drink, and that's that. It's and very last minute kind of stuff. See, I know. The last time I texted Frank, I said, <clears throat> "Did you hear that, Anthony?" I said, "What." <laughs> I said, who wants to come over and fuck each other's wives? Go ahead. I'm no. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> the last time I texted Frank, I go, I'm I'm feeling really down. I, I kind of having some suicidal thoughts. And he goes, not now. I'm with the neighbors. No, that was I wrote, what he wrote new back phone, to who this? <laughs> BRB with neighbors. He wrote back, will you just kill yourself already? I'm trying to have a good time with Dude, my real friends. How many friends. times with this? <laughs> God. Needy. Just the needy. And that was at 1 a.m. and he was still hanging out with them. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Shut up. Well, I I think at your birthday party, did the neighbors eat? Because I I got one piece of prosciutto and uh and that was it. And I it was good though, right? Crumble like it was delicious. It was the fucking best. So what are you worried about? They wrapped it around uh, asparagus, so my pee can smell weird later, which I appreciated. Love that. Yeah. Not the only one that does that asparagus. I am amazed we eat asparagus. Like the you guys, when was the first time you think somebody ate asparagus? Like in fourteen eighty seven or some shit. Like who the hell knows? Once they took a piss and they were like, oh, "This is this can't be harming me. I got to go back for more." Like how did that happen? <clears throat> All I know I is it's the I... only one that does that. What the hell is that? Mm. Asparagus should have ended immediately. Go ahead, Gene. So good though. Um. I can't believe you guys think first that you're first here. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I I don't know if we're for. I'll be honest with you. I feel like our our whole entire group is really kind of shattered. But but if we're gonna <laughs> pretend we're still all first here with each other, I don't know if I'm first here with Janine. I don't. This is like a loveless marriage that we've been together for so long that it's like, do we just stay together or? It feels like. It feels like we were lost. Then we banded together during the <laughs> during the pandemic because there was nothing else, and that was just what our group text was. And now that we're out of the pandemic, it kind of feels like why are we still in this relationship? Agreed. Yeah. Well, you know what I think is bullshit. <clears throat> the fact that I wasn't even in the group text until I was like, "Hey, there's a group text." You know that's true. Okay, so I was so thinking fuck about you guys. What the I fuck was is thinking that? about that the other day. Here's what's weird because our group text has become such a regular everyday occurrence. I mean, not every day is when we re- interact, but every day is, and then somebody sends a message, and then this 15 other people ignore them. But yeah. it is such an everyday thing, and it really was only <laughs> born out of. Us going away together. on vacate, yeah, that you didn't That's go to, true. yeah, and I and then for months after that, maybe even a year after that, this group no, it was thing was going on, and I had no idea. It wasn't a year. Well, that was so was but that that was like the dawn of the group text because before yeah, that you couldn't text more than one person, could you? 
Yeah, wasn't oh, that I long wonder. ago. It was like it was like three years ago. <laughs> when did group text start happening though, as like a technology? That wasn't. Uh, this was well into it. Just don't act like you know we, we were crawling out of caves and started texting I don't know how each long. other. But no, I think you're wrong about that. I don't think it was that much. Well, whatever. Sooner, it was, you guys went away. You had your trip. Then you started texting each other for months. It was just you guys texting. And then I found out there's a group text, and I went, "Hey." What what's going on here? And then uh, we we're like, okay, we'll start a new, start a new text chain, so um, I can be included. That so is true. That happened. Us. And who was the person who <coughs> brought it all together? I have no idea. <laughs> I knew that your, would get you. <laughs> your old pal Anthony. Yeah, but you only brought it together because I brought it up, or else I would still not be in the group text. Can I point out why Aunt, uh, Frank and his wife didn't come on the uh, group? vacation oh we were with the neighbors exactly they were on vacation no, with them i don't know they we knew it would be miserable <laughs> i don't yeah, remember right. what we were doing i think we had a different trip planned but it wasn't with the neighbors with the neighbors yeah it was no. have you ever gone away with the neighbors no oh <gasps> see how he the only thing we've gone sky, he lied no the only thing we've done we did uh we went to the vineyards for someone's birthday oh we did I'm like sorry. a sorry we That's did one intimate. of those uh did you take a bus? Well, a, a bus picked us up here oh, and brought us no. out there one day. Yeah. That was it. Oh, God. I feel so hurt. I that get mad when thing. Frank's like, oh, we got to go hang out with my wife's friends. I'm like, what the fuck do they have that I don't? Right. Should I start a list? Want me to email you? Or... I I've been with your wife's you. friends. They are boring, terrible people. One of them voted for Trump. I hate to tell you. Yes. I, I don't want to start causing problems, but well, right. huge Trump fan. Okay. Huge. Yeah. yeah. Actually, one night I did pass by Frank's house. I went down. I was in the neighborhood for um, some You're stalking restaurant. Stalking my house? Some restaurant. I passed down your block because I was like, oh, that's that's where Frank and his wife live. This is suspect and... because there are no good restaurants in Frank's name. Frank lives in a very bad area. <laughs> no. yeah. And like two houses down, you could see oh, like nice Arby's. people were partying inside. And I see Frank with a red solo cup and it said it had trump around it mm. of course it did sure and none of this sounds made up at all my my mouth just dropped mm -hmm. in my car i probably sure. even stopped for a few seconds is that what happened i could not believe that and you could tell wow. he's with his neighbors having such a grand old time mm -hmm. okay was i wearing a red hat too <laughs> drinking out of a trump cup mm. sure that sounds like exactly like what something I'd do. I bet you if his neighbor said, like, I like Trump, Frank would be like, yeah, he's all right. Yeah, like, he's not, Frank's probably, it's not that bad. Yeah, he won because he sure. wants to be with the cool kids. I'm already with the yeah. cool kids. It's all right. It's yep. all good. You know what, though? It's okay. I know You're, it's You okay. know why? You're first here in my mind. <laughs> that seemed insincere. That was maybe sincere until she bailed out. Yeah. I will I will I will take no questions, please. Go on. <laughs> right, are we done? What are we doing? Yeah, we're so done. Uh, we were done like a while ago. That we, everybody was just having a grand old time. All right. Well, join us for 420, guys. It's gonna be it's gonna be a trip. Pun intended. So he's gonna take a gummy. I'm gonna get drunk because I don't do I don't do that. It's not my thing. Um but if you're coming on the show, feel free to do whatever you, you know, anything legal uh, is fine, I think, right? Smoking is okay, depending on where you are. You can take meth for all I give a shit. Just don't hurt anybody. Don't, don't blame it anybody. on us. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're getting legally intoxicated. Saturday night, get a little fucked up, and uh, we'll bullshit about weird off-the-wall topics. Hell yeah, we're going to get trippy. We're going to get deep. Join us. If you're a member... You can come on the show and be a part of the show and have the conversation with us. Can I tell you something? I think I'm going to go for two. Two gummies? I think I'm going to really step it up and see how it could be bad. Holy crap. It All could right. be really bad. This, this could be... be the one that does does not get shown publicly ever. Is there going to be like a medic standing by? The members will have it, but as far as the public goes, I'm not entirely sure. So. I would join now if I were you, because this might be the only time you get to see this one ever. <laughs> this not, might not make it to public airwaves. 
All right. Don't forget, if you are a member, the link is already up to join us and to watch the show in the members only area. So hop on over there and grab that link. Oh, meat, potato salad. Catch you guys tomorrow. Maybe we should go now. Go ahead.